Hello, my name is Ali Dimitri Gossi. I am the author of the book, Not Being Authentic Can Be Costly. My siblings read the book, Naidi read the book, Nana's Kitchen Adventures, and Chimango Do, my eldest sibling, read the book, Homeschooling. What the heck is that? Yes, and mine had to follow later. <laughs> How to parent proudly African children. Reflections of an African Father Rama by Rama Rumachikosika. This one is mine. We will talk about it also. So today we are going to introduce a series of discussions about African writers, African literature. And um, the main reason why we are doing that is because this literature is not very easy to find. Look at this book. I have never found it on a, in the bookshop. In the bookshop, I've never found this book. And many others which we are going to introduce. And also, um, the books that we have sitting in front of us, you can't see them, but they are piles, okay? Are the kind of books that can help the African people cultivate their own perspective on how Africa should be run. All over the world, there are conversations and discussions telling pe African people how to run their own country. Why don't we hear from our own African scholars who literally have blueprints <laughs> for what black power and an Africa run by black people should look like? Indeed. There is a lot of work that has been done by African scholars. Maybe we must just peruse what we have here in the table. Yes, it is very important that uh, African uh, voices must be heard. And what is a better way of hearing African voices is through their works. Is, we could read their books, we could check their artworks, we could check the songs of African people, because that's where the message is. Yes. Did, you, did you see this one? Decolonizing the African mind. And this book is also speaking the same theme as this one uh, written, by, written by Franz Fanon, this yes. one. Black skin, white masks. So we are going to unpack all these books. We have here, which one you want to talk about? Um, we have The Philosopher and Philosophy and Opinions of Marcus Garvey, given to us by Andy Gar Amy Jacques Garvey. We can yes. thank her for that. Yes, we need to thank her because Marcus Garvey himself did not publish the book. Yes. Marcus Garvey wrote a series of articles which Amy, after his death, after his death she puts it together for us as a book. Yes, without her efforts, I don't think we would have this book. Indeed. And it's a classic book that all of us need to read, especially African people. Look at that. Can you see what's written there? Oh, yes. The Awakening the Natural Genius of the Black Child. Mm -hmm. by Dr. Amos Wilson. We actually have quite a few of his books here yes. lying in front of us. There is another one. This one is called... The Falsification of African Consciousness, Eurocentric yes. History, Psychiatry and the Politics of White Supremacy. Yes, there is the book. We will also unpack this. And the most, there's a whole lot of books, and some are written by our own South African authors, like, you know, Steve Biko there. I write what I like. I write what I like. We can't leave that one. It's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at this one. Black Labour, The Search for Power and Economic Justice and White Wealth by yes. Claude Anderson. Yes. There is a book. So this, this, some of the deep writing, really, which can help us to do soul searching. Yes. And uh, we really want to do this because these books are not easily available. Mm. And by doing this show, we hope we will, will, will stimulate the appetite of African people to go and search for these books, preserve them, and uh, also continue to review them, draw the lessons from, from what they our scholars have written. Maybe even write their own. Indeed. And maybe we will be able to draw programs because a book like this one has got a program of how 
we can turn our fortunes around. This one, Destruction of Black Civilization, and many other books. And um, today we're just introducing this show and we are counting on your support. The main aim is mainly to encourage us to start thinking, you know, to think about our affairs, take ownership of our destiny. And that's what we intend to do. And we hope we will inspire you not only to read, yes. but also to write your own book. Um, after all, the task is not so daunting when you do start. So perhaps start by reading and maybe you'll fall in love with the ability to write. Yes. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you'll give a view or a like to inspire us to continue to create more. This is Anitu Chikosi and... And it's Ramadu Chikosi. Thank you. Thank you. See us in the next shows and continue to share the good news about Africa. And let's learn. Shall we? Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.